ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿನ್ನವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಚ ಕಿ ಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶೋಪಕಾಸನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋತ್ಪನು ದೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ಸರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ್ವಪಾಲ್ಭವಾತ್ಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತುಕಿ ಭವದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಂಕಿಭಾಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಆಯಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿತ್ತೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತು ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪುತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀ ಸಜಸ್ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
आचार्य माम बीजानिया नव मनित कर हिचित नौ मर्त बुद्धिया असुयेत सर्व देव मयू गुरु आचार्य माम बीजानिया हाथ आचार्य माम बीजानिया नव मनित कर हिचित नौ मर्त बुद्धिया असुयेत सर्व देव मयू गुरु गौरी गोष्टी पति से सिला भक्ति शिदांत गौरी गोष्टी पति से सिला भक्ति शिदांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल्ड जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट गुरुपाद पद्म जस्ट टू थिंक दैट द गुरुपाद पद्म इज मॉटल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड गुरुपाद पद्म जस्ट टू हैव दैट मटीरियल मॉटल थिंकिंग विद दैट मटीरियल विचार जस्ट टू सी देम लाइक दैट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड दिस गुरुपाद पद्म these all vaishnavs they are they are actually giving me that transcendental they are my eternal uh, that they are giving me that nitya eternal life to me we are actually in this uh, material uh, world with that material disease inside us and they are giving us that nectar to treat that material disease that with full uh, uh, full uh, they are actually our protector and this kind of uh, effort this kind of gift what they are giving us this tatkalik upakar nahi that is not at all tatkalik which is uh, it is beyond this material time and material modes of nature actually they are actually giving uh, me that uh, eternal nitya life eternal life to me that is guru pad padma so all these guru vaishnav just to make having that material mortal thinking according to that if you are just doing having some material darshan with guru vaishnav that is not at all good if you are uh, just thinking uh, uh, different persons have different kind of darshans maybe having they having some good darshan or having bad darshan they no no but each and every jiva has the different darshan they have eyes so definitely they have darshan so they have this much difference that uh, vaishnav they what vaishnav have darshan it is actually there is support of tatva gyan and uh, those who are actually agyani they don't have tatva gyan at all they are having that material darshan all the time so those who are doing maya darshan all the time they are doing maya darshan so in uh, darshan behind darshan if actually their grip divya gyan which is given by gurudev that support is there that backing is there then definitely i will be having that nitya darshan permanent that vaikunth darshan i'll get but if i will not be getting the grip of guru vaishnav then definitely this material darshan this is quite natural every jiva has the different kind of darshan every jiva has a different kind of darshans but those vaishnav darshan is the topmost darshan that is the topmost darshan this is the topmost fine darshan and is the pure purest of all the darshan and in vaishnav darshan to just get into that it is quite uh, difficult up till that when we will not be having that guru darshan up till that point our bhajan is not at all possible when we will not having that guru darshan definitely there is no question of any bhajan i have just taken diksha i have just done everything but still if i am not having that guru darshan that par nitya guru darshan up till that point our bhajan is not at all possible it is not at all in our starting condition also so this jagat darshan what it is and what is material darshan you just need to understand that prabhupad actually used to speak a lot of time about this that that this tarkik darshan do when you are arguing and arguing on that uh, darshan uh, on that darshan and you're just arguing with an arguing mood you will not get anything in that because with the argue mood uh, pure guru vaishnav are all far away from that you can't understand me from that tarkapanta from that if i just want to apply the logic 
for that arguing mood then gurudev gurudev actually we just will you will just be externally seeing gurudev not that an internal darshan you can't get he is actually so big he is black he is just wide and like this you will be having this guru darshan that gurudev will just uh, will um, make you foolish so by this arguing mood this logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that guru vishnu of pathway because it is the total prakashmay vastu and, and just to have that uh, uh, darshan of gurudev like this it is not possible because they are self prasvap prakash self manifesting vastu so, so gurudev uh, darshan is a self manifesting darshan and we can't uh, make uh, uh, their darshan forcefully so that's why this tark pantha our guru vaishnav actually just are getting they are not giving darshan to us they just hide themselves now actually we are talking now that this uh, bhagavat katha we are actually listening because hari katha kirtan without that there is no other foundation of bhajan there is not at all any foundation apart from that there is uh, you can't talk anything about that so this hari katha actually we are listening prabhupad actually always used to speak that from which source you are hearing from which source you are hearing and from you have to hear that and not to hear that this kind of vichar should be there inside your heart sometimes a uh, normal devotee is actually just uh, sitting in front of prabhupada and i uh, used to ask him that you are speaking you don't go there don't go here then where to go you are speaking no don't go there don't go here so where should we go all those devotees used to speak to prabhupada that where should we go where should we go you tell me tell us where should we go prabhupada actually used to speak that okay at least where there is where is there is no naam aparadh where there is no aparadh you should go there you can go there you will not understand no okay if you have to go to that permanent place you have to approach a right source a living source and that uh, firing example should be there that idealism should be there in front of you that uh, living uh, firing idealism should be there that example you have to go there so in order to hear hari katha whose acharan uh, is so much topmost pure that he will just uh, shake the shake the person so that to uh, you have to go to that sadhu okay no worries if you want to go and you don't at least where there is no naam aparadh where there is no naam aparadh at least you have to go there you can go there where actually there is no okay this naam abhas is there so still you can go there because naam abhas is actually giving mukti so you can at least go there where there is no naam abhas so this which are actually prabhupad speaking prabhupad always used to speak that that we have to go to an uh, at exact source by the krip of baldav ji mara that definitely will come if there is some biasness in our heart that okay i will just uh, hear here only okay we are just hearing here it is not at all good prabhupada i always used to speak that all the time nityanand balram ji by the krip of nityanand balram living source means that those with that acharan shil sadhu with full acharan acharan shil sadhu you have to hear the hari katha in whose acharan uh, hari katha is actually there he has is a realized soul and each and every talking with a single word everything is there realization is there he is he is having that application of hari katha in that he has that realization you have to go there and listen there then you will get uh, advantage you have to get just get that uh, that place where actually shabd brahm is going on if actually shabd samanya is going on and you are going there then no use to go there maybe you can get sukriti because uh, there is chance of aparad there and you can just fall down as well so this is pos- this possibility is there 
सो दैट्स वाई प्रभुपाद यूज टू स्पीक एट लीस्ट वेर देर इज नो नाम अपराध देर इज नाम भाज देयर एक्चुअली यू कैन गो देयर दैट इज इट इज़ वेरी गुड दैट इफ यू कैन गो टू अ लिविंग सोर्स एंड दैट फायरिंग आइडलिज्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दैट साधु फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू हेयर हरिकथा दैट इज गुड बाय बिकॉज इफ आप इट विल वॉट विल हैपन दैन द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु एंड द आउटकम ऑफ भागवतम दैन यू विल नॉट बी हैविंग दैट रियलाइजेशन दोज हु आर प्रतिष्ठित इन द आचरण ऑफ महाप्रभु यू जस्ट नीड टू हेयर अबाउट चैतन्य महाप्रभु अदरवाइज दैट रियलाइजेशन विल नॉट कम एंड द टॉप मोस्ट थिंग इज to not to uh, not to find faults in guru vaishnav if we are actually uh, taking this vichar then definitely my life will get destroyed my life will get destroyed nothing will happen in our life if i will be just finding faults in guru vaishnav chaitanya bhagavat it is written there so this is actually written there in chaitanya bhagavat kahare na kore ninda krishna krishna bole ajo chaitanya charan jivni jini ve kehle aur samaj mein and in the world, in this uh, material world there is a uh, to do this uh, vyakhya with perfection it is not there at all in this material world if they will just be explaining that that actually he is just insulting him it is actually good it is not at all good so he is actually speaking krishna krishna but but the actual thing is there that that there's those who are not doing any uh, finding those who are not finding faults in vaishnav but he is actually in the vesh of vaishnav and he is actually that some demon and asur is doing something then we definitely have to give the answer that is the actual role of uh, acharya of a pure guru vaishnav what is that duty to protect us from siddhant that is the role of acharya if actually is not speaking then his he will definitely fall down from his position and the topmost thing what is the, the is that that those the pure guru vaishnav with their acharan and siddhant vichar hari katha by that and they whatever that bhagavat katha of shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran if we are just at that lotus mouth of guru vaishnav what is coming that is bhagavat katha because they are actually just speaking about the realization of their own bhajan ar jo so sachat bhagavati gyan dipi prade garo guru marto sadhi sutam tasso san kunjar sokcho kya bola what is that actually written jo so sachat bhagavati gyan dipi prade guru jo those actually uh, in in that in the life of those jiska zindagi mein in the life of those uh, they are actually finding faults bhagavati gyan dipe pade guru bhagavati gyan dene wale they are actually that gurudev who is giving us the bhagavat gyan if we are if someone is actually in any any condition they are having that material idea what he is speaking then he is having that material darshan in that what good bhagavat guru is speaking then definitely whatever he has done in his whole life that will definitely get destroyed everything will get destroyed marto sadhi sutam tas sarvam kunjar socho kunjar mane kunjar means that like elephant is taking bath in the in the river for a long time with water and like elephant he is actually taking bath for long time in water and after taking bath he is just sprinkling from all what all the dust particle is taking from the forest and from the ground he is just uh, wrapping it on his body 
so this is the actual bath of an of an elephant if you are actually want to give that uh, sand and uh, on your on your body because actually he is habituated to do that this is actual uh, swabhav of elephant so uh, that elephant like after taking bath he is actually just uh, uh, rubbing all the dust particles on his body again so what is the use of that bath so it means that that elephant uh, there is no uh, purpose of taking his bath uh, the person actually taking bath so that he can get purified so it is actually written in the shastras yasyo means in his in in his life actually that uh, that divya gyan gurudev actually he has taken shelter of that and he has having that mortal and material darshan on to the lotus feet of gurudev then what will happen whatever actually whatever he has done what all bhajan sadhan will definitely go in water everything will get destroyed that it is just like the bath of an elephant i have just uh, talking about the previous shlok krishna just speaking on his own that i am i just be sure that i am only acharya i am in the form of acharya just to think that i am coming in the form of acharya krishna speaking himself that i am coming in the form of acharya in this material world i am coming myself in the form of uh, acharya so so bhagwan actually speaking bhagwan shri krishna speaking that uh, definitely thinks myself as acharya only and don't don't any find fault and go do disrespect on to acharya don't have disrespectfulness if you are doing knowingly or unknowingly some aparad on to lotus feet of acharya definitely be careful about that definitely you should be careful about that that uh, with guru vaishnav don't so don't have any material conception that material darshan should not be there if you are doing that with the hinsa bhav with hands of jealousy and all everything you should not con- connect it with guru uh, guru vaishnav because gurudev is sarv dev mai prabhupad actually speaking that uh, whatever we are listening from a living source when we are listening that shrimad bha bhagwat from gurudev that those who are actually pure devotees we have to listen hari katha and those persons who are not at all maha bhagwat in the in front of them those who are not at all bhagwat who are not bhakt bhagwat actually in front of them we don't when we will be hearing bhagwat katha we will not get eternal happiness Prabhupada actually speaking that when who is not at all Bhagwat himself, he is not at all Mahabhagwat, he is not Vaishnav, pure Vaishnav. In front of my, front of them, when you are hearing Bhagwat Katha, you will not get eternal happiness. By that whose character is not good, their qualities are not good, and they have uh, all the time material lust inside their heart, and they just want lab puja pratishta. They are just uh, running after that. they cannot actually have when they can't do bhagavat part they can't even touch bhagavatam you are speaking that they will speak bhagavatam it is a very far distant thing even they can't touch bhagavatam they can't even touch bhagavatam they don't have that right but because because from his their mouth actually that bhagavat katha kirtan is not at all possible from their mouth because when they are doing this uh, they are in the name of bhagavat part they are just uh, actually giving sense gratification they are just doing sense gratification they are just making arrangement for their sense gratification that's it so prabhupad actually speaking that he is himself is actually fallen okay he is actually fallen so and he is actually making others as, as fallen as well 
you will just make them fallen as well because he is himself in the fallen condition okay there's no problem they are actually in fallen condition but still they will make other fallen as well because all other all bonded jivas are all foolish whole world is foolish so what they are doing they don't know actually what they are doing so that's why that in front, when they are just taking bhagwat in front of them and they are just want to have their vichar uh, of sense gratification inside their mind then definitely they are in the fallen condition himself and he is making other as a whole world in for fallen condition as well so those who are all the time actually uh, doing hari katha and hari bhajan all the time they are doing and though are all the they are all the time doing hari bhajan and hari kirtan and doing hari katha all the time this kind of uh, sadguru we have to take the shelter that is good to that is important to take the shelter of them those who all the time 24 time he is doing hari bhajan and he is doing hari katha kirtan 24 hours so to take shelter of that guru sadguru that pure vaishnav if we are actually doing hari bhajan under his guidance we just have to learn hari we have to hear hari katha under his guidance and uh, we have to just take the ashray of the lotus feet of that shri gurudev and from their lotus mouth we have to hear and we have to uh, understand their uh, instructions by that we just need to do hari bhajan and uh, and those other pure guru vaishnavas they are actually speaking if actually gurudev is not actually speaking hari katha like like loknath goswami he is actually doing away his uh, nishkam bhajan uh, nirjan bhajan and he actually just send his narottam das thakur disciple there to uh, jeev goswami and uh, hirde chatanya actually uh, goridas pandit is the disciple of hirde chatanya and his disciple is shamanand prabhu and shamanand prabhu actually was sent to jeev goswami path on the lotus feet of jeev goswami path to learn about what is bhajan so all those pure vaishnav we have to hear that uh, hari katha and that the top most thing is then we don't have to fault uh, find any fault in guru vaishnav that is strictly prohibited we don't need to find any fault in guru vaishnav ha huh, maybe uh, externally we have we can find they can have some disease some vaishnav and in chatanya charitamrit it is written there in chatanya charitamrit it is written there that uh, whatever you are actually we are seeing that pure guru vaishnav you are seeing their faults like disease something is there in their body that for pure vaishnav in the life of pure vaishnav you can see that uh, that some kind of externally you can see there is some disease in their body or something uh, any other fault you can see in pure guru vaishnav you can see sometimes so there are some vaishnav is uh, sick and he has getting some disease and they are having to getting something like this that so something can be done but if you are having that material darshan and you are just taking that uh, doing in front of guru vaishnav then definitely you will be fooled you will be cheated sometimes it is uh, like this that ragunath das goswami pad he has just taken birth in a vaishya family and jadu thakur has taken fam- uh, birth in a low class low class family and haridas thakur has taken family in a muslim family and bhagwan das acharya has taken he is actually handicapped he can't even walk properly he don't have uh, his handicapped he can't walk properly khanj he is khanj actually not can cannot walk properly so lot of uh, external uh, faults you can find in their body but if you will fa- find faults in them then it is strictly prohibited you, everything will get destroyed pundarik vidyanadi also 
why actually uh, always used to drink the ganga water and used to uh, sit for archan that is not at all the rules but it is the rule like you don't need to drink even single drop of water while uh, without doing archan so this is actually not the fault of vaishnav like khanji krishna das लखनजी दैट भगवान दास आचार्य भगवान दास आचार्य जो खंजू है दिस इज एक्चुअली हैंडीकैप्ड एंड सो जो डोंट नीड टू फाइंड एनी फॉल्ट इन वैष्णव इफ वी विल बी फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट देन व्हाटएवर भजन वी हैव डन प्रीवियसली आल्सो एवरीथिंग विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड श्रीमान महाप्रभु जी श्रीमान महाप्रभु जी आल्सो स्वयं हैज टोल्ड अस दिस थिंग हैज गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स आई कैन गिव यू लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स दैट महाप्रभु आफ्टर टेकिंग सन्यास before actually mahaprabhu after taking sanyas he went to south india he went to south india and in south india when he went there you already know that uh, that vasudev vipra was there who was just getting leprosy in his whole body that kurum vipra also have that uh, after uh, just meeting with kurum vipra he just met with vasudev vipra and vasudev vipra actually in his body whole whole body is with uh, full of leprosy kusht rog leprosy and the full of leprosy and it is not like that even if uh, some insect is there inside his body he is actually leprosy disease is there but so severe serious leprosy is there that insects were there and bombs were there inside that and he is actually taking uh, insects in his body and doing bhajan and if that insect is coming out he is taking it uh, on the uh, right place if actually not taking any food you take my food from my body no worries he is doing like this you just take this food but mahaprabhu what actually done mahaprabhu actually when was uh, when he seen vasudev vipra he just went to kurum vipra actually where is prabhu prabhu actually went to oh prabhu went after that after that he just uh, after hearing that he just uh, gone into fallen condition and just uh, got unconscious and just started crying like mad and after that uh, when mahaprabhu actually when he just went to south india when he went to some place actually mahaprabhu went to very far distant place from that place where vasudev vipra was there but when actually he just uh, shown the when he just have heard the merciful prayer of vasudev vipra then mahaprabhu again came back from that place just to do kripa he just got attracted by the bhakti of vasudev vipra because bhagwan is so much attracted to bhakti vasudev vipra actually was so much prema was there for bhagwan inside his heart inside the heart of vasudev vipra and vasudev vipra just to give darshan to vasudev vipra just to give darshan to vasudev vipra prabhu actually has just gone too much far from that place and he just came back from that place just to give darshan to vasudev vipra why because bhakti bhagwan uh, bhakti is given darshan of bhagwan and he is actually bhakti is the only thing which we uh, giving uh, closeness towards bhagwan बिकॉज भक्ति भगवान इज एक्चुअली भगवान इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग शेल्टर ऑफ द डिवोट इज हु आर एक्चुअली भक्त भगवान एक्चुअली जस्ट केम बैक इन फ्रंट ऑफ वासुदेव विप्र एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ वासुदेव विप्र ही इज जस्ट गिविंग अ हग टू वासुदेव विप्र ऑन हिस्स चेस्ट ही इज जस्ट टेकिंग वासुदेव विप्र हगिंग वासुदेव विप्र विद इज ऑन टू हिस्स चेस्ट एंड वासुदेव विप्र एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग वाई आर यू आर डूइंग i am actually full uh, fallen fallen person that you are actually your body just i am not even taking i am not a person who can take your darshan also if you can take look at me and you are just touching me and you are just hugging me that is not at all good then Maha, then mahaprabhu actually is, he is actually saying that he is actually brahman and at the same time he is vaishnav also and when he is actually giving him an alingan then uh, vasudev vipra just become like uh, gold uh, his body become disease free vasudev vipra is a vaishnav and if he is not a vaishnav definitely 
दिस काइंड ऑफ मर्सी दिस काइंड ऑफ धन्य भाव कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल वासुदेव विप्र स्पीकिंग प्रभु एक्चुअली यू आर गिविंग मी गुड बॉडी वाई एक्चुअली बिफोर दैट आई आई वॉज वेरी गुड लॉट ऑफ धन्य वॉज देयर इन साइड माई हार्ट मर्सीफुल एटीट्यूड वॉज देयर इन साइड सर्विंग एटीट्यूड वॉज देयर इन साइड माई हार्ट बिफोर बट नाउ टूडे आई यू आर गिविंग मी अ वेरी नाइस बॉडी यू आर जस्ट लाइक अ गोल्ड माई बॉडी हैज बिकम नाउ आई विल गेट डेफिनेटली फॉल्स ही गो इन साइड माई हार्ट सो वेयर आई विल गो Prabhu actually just giving uh, the instruction to him that definitely in the whole life no false ego will touch you. You will no uh, pratishta will not touch you at all. Don't worry. Definitely you will not get any false ego inside your heart about your body and everything. That you are just you just go on speaking Krishna Krishna. And definitely definitely you will not get any false ego inside your heart. so you just all the time speak krishna krishna and you are just giving instruction to others also to do krishna naam so mahaprabhu actually into the vaishnav why actually he is uh, speaking to that he is vaishnav why because all those insects and worms just be careful about this point why he is actually speaking he is vaishnav he is actually brahman or oh, he is brahman but still it is written there that he is vaishnav as well vasudev vipra okay but uh, i just want to speak that Inside that, inside the heart of Vasudev Vipra, so much dhanya uh, is there. Apart from that, uh, inside the heart of Vaishnav, no one can have that merciful attitude. So much mercy is there inside the heart of Vasudev Vipra. To those insects, he is speaking. Oh, we are actually going. You are actually taking food from my body, and if that insect is going out from his body, he is just taking that. Uh, the uh, insect from his body where actually he is getting that bruise on his body of the leprosy he is actually taking it back on to that each and every insect he is taking from the ground and he is actually uh, just taking it back there so that he can eat his food oh where actually you will go oh what you will feed your food is not outside you just eat my body like this kind of vichar this trinadapi bhav this kind of tranade bhi bhav that he is uh, more than a more uh, patience than the blade of grass apart from vaishnav no one can have that no one can have that so that's why i have told that uh, with full merciful attitude is speaking that jagai madhai are the most sinful and fallen persons they this they are actually most sinful and fallen That is a but nothing is more sinful. They so frauder and so faulty uh, they are. Jagai madhai, so fallen they are. What they have not done in their life, they have their Brahman body externally, but they are actually more fallen than a Shudra Chandal who are taking dog, eating dog. They are more fallen than them. But Mahaprabhu actually speaking that. Uh, Mahaprabhu actually speaking Mahaprabhu if you are if Mahaprabhu want to find fault in that Vasudev Vipra then definitely he will not be giving a, a linger to Mahaprabhu and not giving the instruction to him so definitely we don't need to fault any find, uh, find any fault in Guru Vaishnav then Jagai Madhai were just uh, get rectified and they were just get kripa of Gorang Mahaprabhu and they get the kripa of Nitanand Prabhu and they have uh, they just asked to get the place at the lotus feet of nitanand prabhu 
then at that thing the situation of uh, jagai mata everyone every vaishnav was watching who is this jagai mata who are they they can't be jagai mata they were all seeing him with very surprising mood how they actually become like this but actually jagai mata actually gorang mahaprabhu now speaking he has just speaking in front of everyone from now onwards if anyone can just uh, if you are just uh, uh, thinking of their previous aparad and just speaking no don't speak like that because they have infinity life that sinful activities i have taken that and this kind of which are when swarup shakti actually of nitanand prabhu gorang mahaprabhu by the krip mars krip of nitanand prabhu and gorang mahaprabhu that fire of swarup shakti that art it has just gone inside the heart of gor jagai madhai and their infinity sinful activities have been destroyed after that because it is definitely 100% sure that if this jagai madhai are all material then definitely nitanand prabhu and gorang mahaprabhu will not take them to their shelter गोरंग महाप्रभु ने तो दे आर आर नॉट एट ऑल कैन हक द प्राकृत मटीरियल बॉडी इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट प्रीवियसली वॉट सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज एंड वॉट ऑल दे हैव डन प्रीवियसली वॉट एवर द अपराध एंड दैट इज सिंफुल डोंट नीड टू टेक इट आउट अगेन because today actually they have got a new birth today and previously if you are speaking actually he was actually used to do like this so now he is become big sadhu so you should not speak like that he actually used to take uh, uh, wine because gorang nitanand is a prakrit shakti and after that if you are just uh, making any fault finding in jagai madhai then definitely it will be very heavy for them mahaprabhu speaking no need to find any fault before what they have done previously it will not count at all that they don't vasudev pipra also i don't need to fault in them shri sanatan go swami pad also like uh, when uh, he has just gone from the pathway what mahaprabhu has shown from vrindavan he just came to when he was coming to uh, jagannath puri Uh, mahaprabhu went from that uh, uh, vrinda uh, what uh, mahaprabhu has told and when he just came back from vrindavan sanatan go swami pad actually in the way of jharikhand that forest sanatan go swami pad sanatan go swami pad in the way of jharikhand he just uh, came from there and there is some uh, fault in water because of that he was got some itching in his whole body and mahaprabhu actually every day used to come in uh, to meet haridas and always used to uh, hug uh, sanatan goswami pad every day mahaprabhu actually always all uh, mahaprabhu uh, sanatan goswami pad always you say don't touch me prabhu i am actually fallen and you see my body actually if you do in this situation condition you don't uh, touch me and sanatan goswami pad just running away but mahaprabhu actually forcefully used to uh, with and used to jump on sanatan go swami and used to hug him with love full mood and one day actually this kind of uh, uh, thing this acharan of mahaprabhu sanatan go swami was became very unhappy that all kind of blood and all my this uh, sweat is actually uh, just getting on the body of gorang mahaprabhu i will definitely go to hell that mahaprabhu actually forcefully actually used to touch me and hug me who don't uh, understand this point so that's why sanatan go swami pad just made one uh, vichar that with jagdanand pandit he just made one vichar that what should i do jagdanand pandit pandit what to do actually prabhu will not understand you do one thing that uh, your nitya avasthan that is vrindavan what prabhu has given you then you should uh, the whole uh, family actually is there in vrindavan so after ratha yatra you go to vrindavan so mahaprabhu actually after getting he just got this news that sanatan go swami padi who is he who is giving this kind of instruction to sanatan that sanatan who is actually can give instruction to me that who has given that kind of thinking or uh, instruction to sanatan sanatan can give me instruction mahaprabhu speaking 
he can give me instruction he can give me instruction about bhajan uh, sanatan and who is there who can give instruction to sanatan sanatan ko jagadananda pandit and sanatan actually he is actually uh, just a small child in front of sanatan he is giving the instruction to sanatan after that uh, i don't have time to just to give uh, discussion on this so after that sanatan goswami just uh, giving uh, like uh, giving hug to him and after that he is making the body of sanatan like gold and sanatan goswami was speaking why you have done that he is speaking vasudev vipra previously i have told that mahaprabhu when uh, he is there is all blood and blood on his whole body back blood and mahaprabhu actually he is not at all understanding he was not under forcefully he used to hug sanatan goswami touch another then mahaprabhu actually speaking that sanatan why are you why are you getting buried tumas porsi pavitra hite prabhu kahe tumas porsi pavitra hite tumas pavitra gun nahi to hamas tumko that by just touching you actually i'm just getting to jump to you why because they are kind of pure nerves which you have that is not inside me that you are thinking that you have that externally you think you are reaching this that but 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 for mother that even stool and urine of a child is nectar for that for mother for mother the for for mother even his own child that stool and urine of that child is whatever he is doing in the lap of mother that is nectar for his mother it is just like chandan it is not at all uh, uh, making angry that mother so in the same way when i am just getting uh, touching you it is not at all that i am getting prema when i am touching you and if i am just uh, getting angry and i am just getting uh, that uh, definitely krishna will give me punishment if i will not touch you with prem definitely krishna will give me punishment if i will just be disrespecting you and not uh, touching you definitely bhagwan krishna will not uh, will definitely give me punishment so this kind of uh, vichar dhara what i have told i have it is it is proved here that whatever you don't need to find any kind of fault in any vishnu pure vishnu why because whatever their acharan maybe they are not speaking hari katha but still they are acharan they are actually mahapurush mahabhagavat all these maha bhagavat vaishnav their body actually their behavior there can be a fault externally but we don't have to find that external uh, fault in them we don't need to find fault in them that's actually it written in the shastra prakriti means the nature there can be fault in nature as well our nature can also have some fault there are some lot of devotees are there here that externally they have some behavior problem like there is some fault in their behavior uh, sadhu is very good but there have some fault in some behavior he has that uh, uh, manner which is externally very bad it looks like so according to you you will be just feeling bad and you will be finding finding fault so that's why like in the river ganga actually all the bubbles foam everything is there all garbage if it is there this is but still it is that river is brahma tatva पुंडरीक विद्या ने दी एक्चुअली व्हेन देन डेफिनेटली यू विल दे एक्चुअली जस्ट यूज्ड टू ड्रिंक रिवर गंगा वाटर एंड आफ्टर दैट ही यूज्ड टू डू अर्चन एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट प्रोहिबिटेड टू टेक वाटर बिफोर अर्चन सो वी कैन जस्ट फाइंड फॉल्ट इन लाइक महाभागवत महाप्रभु एक्चुअली when he just uh, uh, in the house of sarbam bhattacharya then he was sitting there to take prasadam there sarbam bhattacharya actually was uh, act by the kripa of mahaprabhu 
कैन अंडरस्टैंड गौर गौरंग तत्व बट हिज बट हिज जामा दैट इज दैट दैट हु इज द एक्चुअली दैट अमोघ एक्चुअली he was just has seen the fault in mahaprabhu from the window and oh so much actually is taking this sanyasi he is actually taking so much prasadam and he will take this much prasadam this is not good so he is finding fault so that is not at all good actually that idol sanyasi like mahaprabhu is you can't find anywhere in this whole infinity brahmand you, it you will not find at all but still mahaprabhu he is actually finding fault in him also who this ramchandrapuri ramchandrapuri actually finding fault in mahaprabhu he actually what he has done he actually just uh, went to the gambhira temple and he was just finding fault in mahaprabhu oh so much insect uh, ant is going on definitely he must have taken sweet so greedy sanyasi he is actually he was just finding fault mahaprabhu actually not speaking anything mahaprabhu not speaking actually okay it's like this what to do so if the ant actually is so normally ant will be going on so he is so greedy actually and definitely night time he must have taken some sweet that's why ant is going on that he is taking and finding fault in mahaprabhu see and he is finding uh, nitanand prabhu's fault uh, was uh, given by ramchandra khan so foolish so, so fraudster he is ramchandra khan he actually when nitanand prabhu went there to the house and he was just laughing and actually when his servant of ramchandra actually is asking nitanand prabhu actually prabhu will stay there nitanand prabhu actually he said that in enjoying mood that okay yes prabhu will stay okay no worries uh, actually there actually one goshala is there there is a big place there there you can go you can give to prabhu he was just uh, with a joking mood he is speaking he actually disrespected nitanand prabhu and nitanand prabhu just like laughing in a big mood and is speaking okay yes yes i will stay here okay no worries i will stay there and uh, nitanand prabhu actually he was just finding fault in nitanand prabhu haridas thakur also someone has taken uh, this uh, fault in haridas thakur also ramchandra puri ramchandra khan he actually has just uh, finding fault in haridas thakur actually he is doing harinam and actually he is just sending lakshahira to haridas thakur and has find fault in that so fasadu he is actually sadu how he will take so much of respect uh, he is taking so much respect okay i will just uh, see him and after that he is just uh, sending one prostitute so that all his respect will just uh, go into sand and he was just finding fault in haridas thakur so like this in mahabharat also you can find that kaliya snake you can just uh, uh, see that that kaliya snake actually snake kaliya that he was a king pre- previously in his previous life that kaliya kaliya nag and he was has having some disease and when the disease is actually not going away and actually someone has given him the news that at that place there is one very nice sadhu sadhu coming there if you just take the lotus uh, uh, water of the lotus feet then definitely your disease will go away okay he said that okay i will go there and actually when he went there just to take the water from his lotus feet actually he saw that the sadhu is good but he is actually in the ring finger actually uh, down in his toes actually it's some disease is there and how he can just take water from his feet i i so bad bad feet he is has having okay definitely he was just uh, just uh, taking his feet and but he just have not taken that uh, water from his lotus feet and he just thrown it away because of that he has done a big aparad he was just feeling very uh, bad just by seeing that uh, picture so there are lot of things actually are there by which guru vishnu we can find fault in them and it is strictly prohibited to find faults in them it is not at all good why because like ganga river in that that is brahma devatva that is dravya brahma sakshat brahma tattva coming from that brahma vishnu and uh, uh, this water actually will be having lot of forms then there, there are no faults in that but so in the same way we don't have to find faults just by their external behavior they some uh, sadhu is taking uh, more food and some taking less food 
लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर ही इज टेकिंग वेरी स्पाइसी फूड एंड परम पूज के शिव मई महाराज एक्चुअली देर इज वन डिसाइपल देयर ही एक्चुअली जस्ट ही वो जस्ट यूज टू सी सरसों ऑयल दैट रिफाइंड ऑयल एंड ही एज यूज टू टेक इट एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड टू जस्ट फाइंड फॉर्ड लाइक दैस डोंट नीड टू फाइंड फॉर्ड लाइक दिस दैट ही इज वेरी ओल्ड ही इज हिज आईज आर वेरी वीक एंड ही इज हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ डिजीज मे बी वैष्णव एक्चुअली आर नॉट गेटिंग डिजीज एक्सटर्नली यू कैन हैव दिस थिंग यू आर फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन वैष्णव डेफिनेटली स्पिरिचुअली इट इज दे आर ऑल द टाइम हैविंग एटरनल हैप्पीनेस एंड ब्लिसफुलनेस मे बी एक्सटर्नली यू कैन फाइंड सम फॉल्ट so like this if we can see then the all these vaishnavas actually when we are taking darshan to find fault in them it is not at all good uh, we have i have seen some uh, vaishnav he is actually he can't speak uh, properly he is stammering he is stammering with his mouth and i have seen a lot of sadhu he is a good sadhu but he can't he actually stammer ta 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 like this is but if he is like someone is laughing and making joking of him then it is not good because he can't speak so like this if you will find any fault in any vaishnav that is not at all good externally maybe have some no uh, knowledge of shastra so you should not laugh at him because because naam prabhu he has so much nishtha on that you we don't have any information about that so in this way actually we have to just uh, have to see the nirikshan bhav we he, he don't have any so much education but he is actually in looking also externally he is actually not good in looking he don't have to find fault like this it is actually strictly prohibited swayam bhagwan shri krishna has uh, has not find any fault in khubja khubja actually is actually just giving chantan to bhagwan shri krishna and as a uh, and bhagwan actually has just done kripa on her but when actually bhagwan when uh, just uh, speaking uh, khubja sundari we are beautiful she actually become very distressful very very unhappy actually you are just making uh, disrespecting me you are joking with me that you are actually speaking me you are beautiful you are sundari that is actually my disrespect that is you are disrespecting me he thakur ji krishna actually speaking no actually i am not disrespecting you i am seriously speaking that your heart is very good your heart is so good that i have already seen that so okay if you are having this kind of unhappiness in this that your khub ji but still okay no problem bhagwan just just he just have uh, made his uh, chin up and after that she just became so beautiful fully upright position she just attained and she become very beautiful and in this way chaitanya mahaprabhu also has in the case of gohak chandal like in uh, ramchandra ji was taking hugging him because he is actually chandal who will just uh, uh, touch him everyone will everyone will speak like that only but that gohak chandal actually ramchandra ji just taking on his chest just hugging him so much prema he has given him so i can give you another example billi bhai de sabri mai sabri mother the he she is actually belonging from a tribal family very low born family and she is not good looking as well but Uh, bhagwan actually everyone is doing disrespecting all those rishi muni were disrespect to subri mother why you have just touched the water why you have touched the water she actually become very afraid and she just gone uh, back from there and the whole water of that uh, uh, water of that whole uh, uh, pond is become uh, contaminated when that uh, disrespect was there for subri mother you can't even touch that water Uh, drinking is a very far thing you can't even touch that so all those rishi muni just by hearing their uh, foul words she, uh, shabri mother has become very afraid and i will not uh, just touch this water and after that when ramchandra ji came there 
when when just taking dandavat pranam on to lotus feet of ramchandra ji and whatever dry things were there according to the gurudev what uh, told by gurudev ramchandra actually speaking sabri actually you just bring some water from that pond you just bring some water from that pond you just uh, take some water sabri actually just came in a very frightened mood there actually i was muni actually just reading some foul language to me and if i'll go again there then she will they will speak actually again something i ramchandra is speaking actually you just bring some water from that pond go and shabri actually shabri mother she just came very secretly there in a very frightening frightened mood and uh, so that nobody has uh, spoken anything to uh, shabri and she just taken the water from that pond and that with that water by just the touch of sabri the pond become very very beautiful very and all lotus flower just uh, uh, came up there and all the rishi muni just become uh, surprised that we have just uh, disrespected him and we have just find fault in him now you just by her touch only that same pond has become uh, uncontaminated and it become so beautiful now the actual thing is that just by the touch of sabri the all the water of the pond become very good and become so nice so it means that all these examples actually what i'm speaking if you are just finding fault in anyone it is not at all good at all it is strictly prohibited there are other lot of things there in this lot of things are there in this as well maybe like bilva mangal thakur in the life of bilva you will not find any fault in his life in bilva mangal thakur life like his name is shilan mishra and bilva mangal thakur you are not finding fault in him previously he was actually doing uh, so much uh, bad activities towards women our guru were have told us that now you can't find fault now presently it is just kind one kind of leela what he is doing but you should not find any fault in him why because because he is such a topmost vaishnava he is a sadhu topmost pure devotee you can't find any fault in him it is just kind one one kind of drama done by bilva mangal thakur you can't find fault in him so they have actually just got shuddh bhakti uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu ji has uh, has told uh, uh chaitanya mahaprabhu has just uh, want to want to read or uh, want to always used to hear bilva mangal thakur krishna karnamrit so you can't find any fault in bilva mangal thakur if someone is actually arguing with you that uh, if you don't have to find fault in uh, uh, in bilva mangal thakur then also you don't have to find fault in my character as well so that is not at good this kind of vichar is not at all good bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking that all those bonded jeevas in any condition whether they are staying in the form of acharya or in sanyasi or in brahmachari swarup any roop is uh, form is there if we have have done any fault on pure on mahapurush or some pure vaishnav is just finding fault in them then everything will get destroyed it is not at all good to find fault in them why because they are if they will be doing aparad like this then they are speaking that bhagwan actually speaking it is uh, strictly prohibited to find faults it is not at all good to find faults in uh, pure vaishnav this is already written opi chet if he is actually my devotee sudra char also but still he is actually worshiping me with full uh, dedication because of our atma that is uh, that is doing the bhajan of bhagwan <laughs> what this uh, subtle body will do bhajan of bhagwan not possible if uh, in some some by if inside someone actually is getting some kusht rog some leprosy is there in his body but still he is actually doing uh, my ananya bhajan he is not doing uh, bhajan of anyone apart from me then then definitely still you if you still he is doing some fault externally but still you have to pay dandavat on to his lotus feet still you definitely he is a sadhu still he is a sadhu why because 
महाराज एक्चुअली डेफिनेटली वेरी सून मे बी ही हैज डन सम रॉन्ग प्रीवियसली बट नाउ नाउ एक्चुअली सम एक्चुअली डन सम फॉल्ट प्रीवियसली रॉन्ग एक्सटर्नली बट स्टिल ही इज डूइंग माई अनन्य भजन ही इज एक्चुअली नॉट डूइंग भजन ऑफ एनी वन अपार्ट फ्रॉम मी If he is do, if he is sudra char also, but still if he is doing ma ananya bhajan, then definitely he is a sadhu. Why? Because he is now well organized. His vichar is now one pointed. Maybe he has done some uh, wrong previously, and very soon. And very soon. He will become a dharmatma. And he will just get that eternal peacefulness. Very soon, it will be done. Konteyo. Ko konteyo. Konteyo prati yani hi nomi bhakta ha prasati. He konteyo. He konteyo. Arjun. He Arjun. you have this uh, you just speak this in front of everyone that my devotee will not get destroyed my devotee cannot be destroyed o pichet bala jo shlok hai o pichet that shlok which i have already spoken in this shloka actually lot of persons actually this o pichet shlok they are just giving the reverse uh, commentary of this o pichet actually bhakti nur thakur speaking o pichet means ओ पीछे सुद्राचार सुद्राचार ओके ही सुद्राचार बट स्टिल ही इज डूइंग एक्चुअली डूइंग माय अनन्य भजन विद अनन्य भाव देन डेफिनेटली ही शुड बी साधु वाई बिकॉज इट डजेंट मीन दैट इफ समवन हैज in this bonded state he hasn't learned anything and he is no respect for gurudev as well he has nothing for gurudev he puna puno he actually durachar kare life uh, day after day he is doing uh, durachar and it is written there it is opj sudrachar and he is doing day by day he is doing all kind of apradh and sinful activity is doing sudurachar karega and he is doing sudurachar and day by day he is doing that and after that he will speak that it is i am doing the bhajan of bhagwan for them actually these people this oprishay sudrachar this shloka is not at all applicable for them bhakti mai thakur has already told us that uh, they are forcefully they are uh, increasing their aparad in order to just uh, rectify their aparad just to divide their aparad they are actually this they are doing this kind of bhajan but they are doing all the time same faults they are repeating it they are just doing a sinful activity day by day so this will definitely come in nama prath they are doing a nam sankirtan also and at the same time they are doing sinful activities so bhakti no thakur actually speaking so there opj sudrachar it is always applicable for a devotee why because inside his heart there is no kind of bhavna he is always have uh, uh, krishna bhavna only he is not doing any archana of any one and if if you are actually doing something opiche sudrachar opiche sudrachar if something sudrachar you have done some wrong activity which is externally wrong then definitely he will be a sadhu only bhakti no thakur speaking that okay he has done some vichar suddenly but he, he always inside is he is doing uh, naam bhajan and at the same time he is doing sinful activities it is it will come in seva prath it will come in naam prath he is actually doing uh, doing naams of sankirtan of prabhu krishna and at the same time he is doing sinful activities not at all applicable for them it is not at all good so this shlok aprije sudrachar is not applicable everywhere krishna bhakto krishna devotee krishna bhakt 
when they have just taken in the birth in acharya vansh if he is not taken birth in acharya vansh also still he can become goswami all these kind of uh, those krishna bhakt actually he has not taken he is not he he actually speaking that i am from this goswami uh, goswami uh, family he has just taken birth in goswami family somebody can speak somebody can speak like this so prabhupada actually used to speak that if he is not taking birth in acharya vansh and goswami vansh also in the family of goswami and acharya also if still they haven't got the birth there as well but still don't have that material darshan uh, with them those who haven't those devotees who haven't taken birth in that vansh so krishna devotee those who are krishna devotees who have he haven't taken any uh, birth in that prabhu vansh if they haven't taken birth there still he is actually goswami if you are not thinking him goswami you will having that material darshan for him you will be having that material darshan for that devotee so for like this i have one story one incident is there i just remember that is in shri shri radha kund prabhupad actually just went there in the bhajan kutu in swaran sukhda kunj prabhupad went there and a lot of devotees are actually coming with the, uh, going to meet prabhupad there in swaran sukhda kunj and there is one panda just came there and he is speaking that i am actually a panda i am just stay here in shri shri radha kund and i am a panda of radha kund and prabhupad actually just respecting him okay actually you see ragunath das goswami pad he is actually uh, to all my brothers and grandfather who were there no they always used to respect him because ragunath das goswami actually just uh, born in a very low form, low class family vaishya kul so that's why all my fra- father and grandfather they always used to take the dust particle from their lotus feet because he is from a low low born family just by hearing this uh, thing just by hearing this point from that panda prabhupad actually just not taking even water and prasadam everything he left he was not at all prabhupad actually all water and prasadam nothing taking just want to leave his body and in the last what happened that everywhere in all four direction all the big big devotees just came that being dent were there actually you are don't listen to him actually he is foolish number 1 that panda but prabhupad actually is not uh, uh, at all uh, hearing in my ears what i have to hear that ragunath das ko swami is from a low born family and because of that he actually used to pay dent to my father and grandfather and always used to take their dust particles from the lotus feet just by hearing this i just want don't want to uh, want to leave this body after that that panda just came there and after that uh, he was just uh, uh, asking he was just asking uh, he was just uh, asking some forgiveness from prabhupad and then after that prabhupad just taking water why this has happened just because it uh, some aparad was done on to lotus feet of vaishna he is actually just born in low low born family low class family so he has just find fault in uh, vaishna so this kind of nindan and fault finding in vaishna this is strictly prohibited so this is not at all good gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj has just uh, taken birth in vaishyakul and vamshi das baba ji maharaj has taken in vaivartukul who is actually a fisherman he has taken birth there has taken birth in the fisherman family but if we are having this kind of vichar then uh, definitely it is not good for us we will definitely be having uh, 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 finding faults in vishnu with material darshan we will be seeing them daksha pradapati you will see so much uh, fault he has found in uh, bhagwan shankar but he is paramhans shankar bhagwan is paramhans still but still he is seeing lot of find faults in him he is market lord and just like monkeys he has some eyes he has monkey eyes and he is actually and he is mang market lord and like monkey eyes he has this shankar and his acharan 
is very contaminated. That the the sadhu sant what pure Vaishnava actually is showing he has actually just destroyed that he is actually just living in a crematorium ground no shochachar nothing acharan is he is having and he is actually just living with ghost and he is so useless just like this he is actually finding fault so he is actually just by Brahma ji only actually I have just given my daughter to her otherwise who will give to him. Just Brahma ji told me that uh, you have to give your daughter to this uh, Shankar. Otherwise, I will not be giving my daughter to her. Just by because of him, I have just uh, given my daughter to her. That's why I have given that. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't have given. So see how much fault he has found. And just by finding what is the actual result which came, you, they have seen the fault of Shri Shrivas Pandit. Oh, what he is doing in the night time? All the time he is just crying loudly so much and we can't sleep. What has done? Chapal Gopal has done. Chapal Gopal actually has found a fault in, uh, in uh, Srivas Pandit. And uh, what he has done? He has uh, just... Uh, he has done... And uh, sin, that uh, red sindhur, all the Bhavani Puja item he has just kept it there. And every wine and bottle and every beer, every wine bottle, he has just uh, put it there. All the Bhavani Puja items he has put in front of the house of Shri Pandit. And he just uh, uh, flied away from there. And when Shri Pandit in the morning, oh, what he has, what it is. All the people actually you are seeing, uh, night time you are seeing taking wine in the night time. And uh, all this Bhavani Puja I am doing. So every th- one person is thinking, oh, who has done this uh, sinful activity? This is not at all good. Not at all good. Who has done this sinful activity? So like Srivas Pandit also, in Bhagavad Katha, when he was there in, in front of Devanand Pandit, in the assembly of Devanand Pandit, he actually sitting there just by hearing Srivas Pandit, hearing he is actually Mahabhagavat, he is eternal Parshat of Bhagavan, he is actually Naraji Swayam. Okay, he actually just want to hear Hari Katha there in, in Devanand Pandit assembly. He just want to hear Hari Katha there in the assembly of Devanand Pandit. And the Katha is going on there. And in the Katha actually so Premai Prasanga of Bhagavan just came there. That Prem just got uh, overflowed from their heart. And he can't, uh, Shrivas Pandit can't stop him. He actually started crying with Prema. And he was just lying down on the ground, crying like mad. And everyone, other are just uh, finding fault in, oh, what is doing? Actually, this Bhagavat is going on. And he is just doing all foolish, rubbish activities. We just find his fault in them. We just throw him out. He is actually disturbance in Bhagavad Gita. We just uh, throw him out. Mm. What is doing, crying like, hoo hoo hoo. You just throw him. So this Sri Vas Pandit, when uh, he just uh, came back to his house and uh, become stable and just came to his work. But Devanand, you see the punishment of Devanand Pandit. You see that what Thakurji has done, what Gorang Mahaprabhu done to him. Mahaprabhu become very angry with him. Very angry. And from there, actually, when going from the Devaran Pandit house, he said, Oh, you can't read Bhagavatam. Just taking who, how he can speak Bhagavatam. He has no right to speak Bhagavatam. So like this. Oh, like this. Oh, don't, we don't need to have find faults in a pure Vaishnam. Maybe previously, actually, in his life, previous... Uh, uh, life actually in this life only he has done something wrong externally but in this birth after birth he has done something but now you no have to find any fault in him now those who are ananya shuddha bhakta devotees don't have that uh, prakrit material darshan on them they can't have any material materialistic thing in them Prabhupada speaking this 
those who are ananya should work those who are doing ananya bhakt all the or ananya bhajan all the time in them no materialistic thing and whatever durachar of this body is there externally if it can be there externally it can be shown there some external durachar but but still they are pure you don't have to find any fault in them so when you are finding fault like this and you will be having that uh, fault finding uh, thing in them then definitely he will be uh, doing vaishnava apradhi and he will become vaishnava apradhi and it will be like this also like uh, when he is getting ananya bhakti before getting ananya bhakti he has done something wrong uh, he will be having some uh, material darshan but before ananya bhakti that he has some uh, durachar or something bad activity bad mad banners are there or bad character is there ananya bhakti lab kurba ananya bhakti lab karne ka before ananya bhakti getting ananya bhakti maybe this uh, devotee in logo may those persons who have that have done done some durachar uh, just by their association uh, you can uh, see your bhakti can get destroyed if living with those materialistic persons aur bhajan bhikkhu bhakti durachar bhajan bhikkhu bhajan mein and but and this is actually barrier in bhajan if it, if it is some barrier in bhajan then definitely what we must be careful about this point we know that that ananya bhakti just by getting that before that getting ananya bhakti if there is some fault in someone he have he is having prakrit durachar material durachar then definitely our bhakti our bhakti vritti will get destroyed but if some mahapurush actually that that pure devotee if you are finding any fault in them and we are finding some material darshan in them then definitely aparad will be done like shrinan mishra like bilba mangal thakur bilba mangal thakur ka bilba mangal thakur ka dosh darshan karne se will be finding fault in bilba mangal thakur definitely our bhajan will get destroyed will become fallen and that's why with this material drishti material darshan if it is strictly prohibited to take uh, uh, darshan of devotees pure devotees with material darshan it is strictly prohibited why because maybe some ananya bhakt inside his heart there is some uh, externally there is some durachar if it is still there but this durachar is actually iska this durachar bina iska it will bina iska karan nahi it will not it is not the cause of his destruction in ananya bhakt this is not the destruction of his ananya bhakti so means that what is those who are always pratishtit in ananya bhakti if is some external dosh is there then you don't have to find that dosh that fault in that because definitely you will be getting into fallen condition if you will uh, find any fault in them those who are always there in ananya bhakti all the time if you will be finding fault in him then definitely he'll get into fallen condition maybe some he is actually mahabhagavat and he is ananya bhakt of krishna but still there is some external uh, fault is there but that is not at all uh, uh, destruction for him in the pathway of bhakti because he is mahapurush kyunki ananya bhajan ka ananya bhajan ka nashak nahi hai because it is not destroying his ananya bhajan whatever what ananya bhajan is doing actually is not getting destroyed so it is not a barrier for him shuddha bhakti jo hai so the shuddha bhakti it actually naturally there in the swarup of bhakti a nature in the swarup of jiva like i will speak about vritrasur vritrasur actually previously he was chitraketu king we have already seen that he was king chitraketu lekin now but now just by just getting the abhishap of uh, parvati devi he has just taken birth in the asur kul and he just become a demon but vritrasur but it is very surprising to see that this ananya bhakti hasn't gone from his heart this ananya bhakti was there maybe he is be having that demonic body 
he has just came in this demonic body but still he was doing bhagavat pravachan in this demonic body also he was doing a uh, bhagavat pravachan that is not at all harmful for vrittasur vrittasur actually in that same condition he is actually giving uh, bhagavat tatva gyan to indra Hey Krishna, oh Thakur ji, your lotus feet actually just want to see that and my heart is actually just feeling thirsty to see your lotus feet. To take your lotus feet actually my heart is feeling thirsty. How? Like one bird, uh, there is one bird is there and he is having the child and he is not getting the uh, wings to fly. Still, he can't fly and he can't go anywhere. But uh, his mother actually... whenever is just giving something in his mouth only then he will just get his life after that by eating that whatever mother will give and she will just speaking to mother chi 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 like that that small bird and in the same way like the go mata the cow his calf actually he is always taking milk from her uh, breast of her uh, mother and he is feeling anxiety to take milk and he actually just want to run towards her mother to just take the milk and he actually just by hungry attitude he just want to become that calf of that cow is just become so much unstable and he just want to run to take milk from her mother so this kind of thing actually is going so this actually one 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 premi actually when he is just separated from one premika from a very long time and his heart is just getting uh, like like uh, up and down and he just want to meet her because he is one punishment is given actually one punishment is given to him though this example i am actually giving from bhagavad ji mahapuran it is already there in bhagavatam in puran also it is written there is one boy from gumer he is actually in the seva of shankar bhagwan actually he has done made some mistake and he just got one shrap you just actually go in that very silent place and he was just giving one kind of isolated one place in a very very solitary place he was isolated and with her wife actually he was just getting uh, separation is a feeling separation he has just got the punishment and he was just crying oh how i can go how i can go to my uh, priya priya one to my loved one and he was just seeing the clouds up and there he is actually speaking with that bhav of separation maybe it has material bhav he is actually asking he is speaking to cloud he is uh, speaking to cloud actually you just uh, talk to my wife and you just uh, send this message to my wife that you give the news to my wife about this that i am not feeling well so in his in this bhav avastha he is actually thinking of chetan vastu as chetan as well maybe this is kind of material bhav that gopi gopi is have that a uh, prakrit bhav but this bhav this is a symptom of bhav when some bhav is just getting uh, there uh, inside some one heart that matter also it becomes chetan vastu and uh, what is what to talk about a prakrit vastu like radha rani radha rani actually speaking to to some tree she is talking radha rani so in this way actually he was just there in a isolated place he was there and uh, was having the punishment and in the, in the form of meghdoot kalidas has just written that those you are speaking that is mahakavi he is you are all speaking mahakavi actually i am not at all speaking is mahakavi that kalidas actually he has written one book this book uh, this meghdoot kalidas ji meghdoot he that meg has just become a doot just that cloud has become the servant and there are different different kind of things he is actually speaking and uh, just give this news to my this uh, wife because is uh, he is actually separated he definitely he is saying that i will just meet my wife because when that moon just came 
and uh, she my wife will also have that uh, eyes on this moon so i will also be seeing this moon now so this kind of thing actually is there so this so this should the bhagavad bhakt it is already there written i was telling you about the should bhagavad bhakt externally if there is some durachar or some external fault is there in his behavior still you don't have to find any fault in him if you will find fault then everything will get destroyed but now actually this ananya bhajan those who are those who are not pratishthit in ananya bhajan today also they are not doing ananya bhajan uh, at all in their life if there is some any fault external is there and you don't need to speak in front of him but still but just to do the association with that fault definitely that bhakti vritti will get destroyed but when he is already pratishthit in ananya bhajan and if you will be finding any fault externally then definite and it is not harmful for his bhajan then that will it become reverse for us if i will find fault in that mahabhagavat then i will get into fallen condition so that's why mahaprabhu speaking of jagai madhai already that jagai madhai actually from now uh, maybe if you will find any fault from now onwards in jagai madhai and you will be just finding fault just to be finding fault from his previous uh, karm what he has done if you will be doing any foul words to him then that definitely you will be having aparadh and you just need to because that swarup shakti vritti has already has been established in their heart and they have just become ananya bhakt mahaprabhu has done this in mahaprabhu actually immediately maybe before uh, he, they have done some kind of wrong things they have just uh, break the head of nitanand prabhu but still uh, the nitan prabhu has uh, not find any fault and nitanand prabhu actually speaking uh, they have just given kripa to them shown that merciful attitude and he is speaking oh gorang mahaprabhu just please leave them you actually just came to this merciful avatar so you if you will just take uh, sudarshan and just be cutting their head it is not at all good because in this avatar uh, you are just taking this astra uh, so you just forgive them and when nityanand just giving appeal to uh, mahaprabhu then mahaprabhu just understand that and he said okay and mahaprabhu actually has given prema to them and they have given the atmasat to them it means that they have just established the swarup shakti inside their heart and just have uh, destroyed the infinity in sinful activities inside their heart and their whole uh, sense organs just become aprakrit transcendental and now jagai madai is now uh, always want to serve bhagwan all the time by their eyes they just want to take darshan of gaur charan and with the hands they want to do seva of gorang and they just with the ears they just want to hear glorification of gorang and with the Uh, feet they just want to do dham parikrama and uh, with the hind they, they just want to do archan all the time they have that uh, serving attitude towards gorang mahaprabhu that's why they just got relieved from that and nitanand prabhu and gorang prabhu when they have just uh, taken them in their lap so then after that it is very uh, it is not good that to disrespect them because they have become aprakrit by the touch of mahaprabhu and nitanand prabhu so gorang mahaprabhu and by the kripa of nitanand prabhu and gorang mahaprabhu they have just get pratishthit in ananya bhakti immediately and you can just it is already there in the book that whatever there it is written in chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya everything is written in murari gut kharcha and a lot of books are there they are actually jagai madhai has just uh, done nitya just dancing with nagai madhai those jagai madhai actually were so sinful previously mahaprabhu has done uh, dance and done, done uh, sankirtan with them you see how how it can be possible they are so fraudster but now today if anyone will just find any fault today th- those who will just uh, take the, the lotus feet of jagai madhai they will become pure you are ju- fault finding is a very far distant thing but today if someone will just uh, doing darshan of jagai madhai he will become pure so krishna has just made him like that so now the situation actually if uh, some be laughing at jagai madhai and he just be giving foul language to mahaprabhu uh, jagai madhai that is not at all good okay mahaprabhu speaking that they have done whatever done previously it has done but now they he is vaishnav now they are vaishnav now jagai madhai are also vaishnav they have just become now of me so don't find that fault it's cautionary to everyone 
सो डोंट स्पीक एनी थिंग अबाउट दैम एनी फाउल और डोंट फॉल्ट एनी फाइंड फाइंड एनी फॉल्ट इन दैम सो बाई दिस एक्चुअली इफ वील बी फॉल फाइंडिंग एनी फॉल्ट इन वैष्णव इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल गुड इट इज स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड इट इज ऑलरेडी स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड बाय महाप्रभु एंड at the uh, original thing the actual point is that that all those pure guru vaishnava by hari katha and sankirtan they have become so pure by that they some become so pure by the hari naam sankirtan like sina sanatan go swami has already told in bhagavad bhagavatam amrit it is already told by sanatan go swami pad there shudha panat deho daihi kavishyate tesam panch bhautik deho pi suchidan nandru इन भागवत जी महाप्रभु इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न बृहद भागवत अमृत सनातन गोस्वामी पाद इज टेलिंग इफ ऑल द टाइम ही इज डूइंग हरी कथा कीर्तन फ्रॉम द राइट सोर्स ही इज एक्चुअली हेयरिंग फ्रॉम द एग्जैक्ट सोर्स फ्रॉम अ वेरी परमानेंट प्लेस इफ ही इज डूइंग ऑल द टाइम नाम संकीर्तन ऑफ भगवान हरी देन डेफिनेटली देन then his body and whatever the sense organs are related to this body that will there will be no relation with that because this panch externally it is looking like it is five made of five elements his body he has his body made of five elements but still he has just got that sachidanand swarup of his atma still his body is sachidanand he is become transcendental why because inside that krishna bhakti get manifested that swarup get manifested inside that he become pure so in this way shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur has uh, uh, just uh, that's why bhakti vinod thakur ji has uh, has when act before leaving his body that's why bhakti vinod thakur before leaving his body bimla prasad saraswati he ordered bimla prasad prasad saraswati he has just uh, given some uh, uh, given some upadesh to bimla prasad saraswati very important things what are those actually prabhu amar prabhu you what you have to do you have to establish devarna ashram you have to uh, establish devarna ashram in the society why because lot of vaishnavas are everyone is just disrespecting vaishnav this all material world so by just establishing devavarna ashram everyone can understand that this pure shuddha vaishnav inside them that brahman that brahman characteristics and qualities are always there in 100 rupees note 10 rupees in all, already there naturally in the same way in the vaishnavas whether they are just born in any of the family whether they have born in a very low class family or any family it doesn't matter at all it doesn't matter at all for them for pure vaishnav don't need to see their family background that's why bhakti vinod thakur speaking that you need to establish their varnashram and you just have to uh, whatever the who's were respecting disrespecting should guru vaishnav you have to stop that because this samaj actually this material world actually there is a misconception about this that brahmans Uh, vaishnavas are lower than brahmans so that's why on brahman vaishnav there is one discussion in uh, some sabha and in balighai in mainipur katni there is one place there actually prabhupad went and in, in front of persons big big person big big pandit he has just established one siddhant that uh, in vaishnav brahman uh, brahman qualities and symptoms are already there it is naturally there why because uh, who is actually brahman inside inside who's who don't have any vishnu bhav no bhav no prema for vishnu who has he is not at all brahman why he is brahman if he is not those who are always uh, there in uh, 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 vichran doing vichran in brahman who is brahmachari who is always all the time thinking of brahma that is called brahmachari and those who are actually just thinking of bhagwan all the time they are actually brahman and he is vaishnav so inside brahman if there are 12 qualities all these 12 qualities are there and inside vaishnav also these 12 gurus are naturally there 
in vaishnav this uh, 12 kind of uh, qualities of brahman is already there naturally and maybe they have more qualities and characteristics this is nothing these 12 qualities and characteristics are nothing inside vaishnav they have they have the 12 uh, qualities this vaishnavs have but apart from that they have more and more qualities and characteristics that they are krishna bhakt so lot of qualities and characteristics will of krishna will be coming in a vaishnav that vipra they are already having that 12 qualities inside them and it is those they but they don't have krishna bhakti they have no confidence on vishnu so uh, those who are actually who was actually taking the meat of dog they are more better than them but now they have got bhakti in them they are far better than those brahmans who don't have vishnu bhakti inside them but still if we are not getting bhakti onto lotus feet of bhagwan then he is more uh, fallen than a chandal so it is already written all these shlokas so this kind of vichar is already there and prabhupad they have also uh, done a vichar that that vaishnav is more far better than uh, brahman bah brahman is normal where is vaishnav where is the situation of vaishnav oh you can't even understand he, so whatever is there bhakti shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur actually before leaving his body has told prabhupad has given some upadesh to prabhupad he has given upadesh to prabhupad that amar prabhu you in, in this whole world you just need to establish devarna ashram why because this pure guru vaishnav they are getting disrespected they are just uh, for finding faults in them so you just need to remove that and uh, in dham parikrama this you just need to establish that this you need to start why because this by dham parikrama it is that is the topmost uh, eternal blissfulness for everyone for all these bonded jeevas why because all those bonded jeeva that is the topmost mangalmay uh, pathway for those bonded jeevas in order to protect them in order to show them the pathway of eternal happiness it is the topmost uh, area you just need to establish that uh, uh, dham parigrama whether it should be without money maybe he'll be taking for 7 to 10 days he can stay there in dham and can do parigrama and can take prasadam and definitely he will get that eternal happiness definitely and uh, dham unnayan bhakti mein thakur has already told that you just need to do construction in dham you bhakti mein thakur not speaking that you just need to develop dham bhakti mein thakur actually speaking that you just need to make some altercations in dham you just need to make some facilities in dham so that like school like market everything you just need to do by this what will happen the external persons will they can come to travel and get mangal bhakti mein thakur ka ye bol rahe hain just want to see that so speak that that you you develop dham who can develop dham dham is dham but it means that that those who are actually who will come here in dham at least they will just have that very nice temple and very nice pathway is there because the external persons bonded jeevas from outside they will not take too much trouble maybe i am actually going 84 crores parikrama whatever uh, distress i am getting there okay for krishna i will do everything but for this bonded jeevas they will can't who oh, so hot i can't run i can't walk so they will speak like that i am feeling thirsty oh so much thorns there i can't go so that's why uh, bhakti mr thakur has just speaking like this that these kind three important updesh has given to proper just to establish uh, you just need to make ghat and all the pathways you just develop that in dham may just build that what will happen that external person will come to the dham and they will just make uh, the efforts to go to dham and what they will do that they will just uh, take the dust particle of the dham on their head and that dust particle will come uh, inside the body no so what he will just do dandvat pranam onto dham so slowly steadily he will just get the kripa of dham and just decorate dham like that and you just make uh, the parikrama of dham and all those jeevas should do parikrama of this uh, dham 
and they should do dham parikrama and any any how you just need to uh, make their mangal so bhakti me thakur just uh, given this adesh so what is the first adesh what bhakti me thakur told just to just to establish what, uh, because shud guru vaishnav are getting disrespected everyone is finding fault in shud guru vaishnav oh bamshi das baba ji man has just taken birth in the fisherman family you should not uh, uh, speak like that you have to establish that siddhant so that a uh, person from outside and maybe our sampraday person they should not at all speak anything about pure vaishnav maybe some fault maybe some fault in their behavior some foul language towards them if you will do then everything will get destroyed so you should not do like that you should not do like that and uh, they are there uh, definitely i will just speak about that tomorrow whatever is there left and today actually i just give rest up till now today and uh, the original thing is that 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 guru vaishnav we just need to find any fault in guru vaishnav bhagwan actually speaking that we are actually uh, we are actually uh, guru vaishnav are all acharya maybe they are doing the work of acharya or not gor kishor das baba ji is acharya varj param hans acharya varj so this mahaprabhu is bhagwan shri krishna actually uddhav ji is speaking to uddhav ji acharya mani that you think myself as acharya i am just coming in the form of acharya you don't need to disrespect him don't need to see any fault in him and don't feel that he is mortal that don't have that material darshan don't have that material darshan and don't have that material mind don't find any fault in him that is strictly prohibited so that's why this shloka of shila ruk was so beautiful vichar is there drishtvai shabhav janitoir vapuschato soir na prakitatva miho bhakta jano sapashet gangam basham na khalu budbud phen pankoir ब्रह्मदवत्तम अपगछति नीरधर्मय वांछकल्पतरुषिक वासिन्द्र बच पतितानं पावन भो वैष्णवयो नमो नमः